Next is direct illumination. Direct illumination involves your microscope being focused directly on the slit beam. There are different ways to use direct illumination depending on how wide the slit beam is. Let's look at the moderate width first. Use a tall slit beam which is about 1 to 2 mm wide which is moderately bright. You can go up to 25 magnification if required. This will give you a moderate slit beam which can be used to directly view structures with a high contrast. You can use this method with slight adjustments to see other structures by dynamically moving the illumination arm angle. If you shorten the height of the beam and use about a 45 degree angle, you can examine the anterior chamber. You can also focus further back into the vitreous to look for cells or tobacco dust. If you use a thin narrow beam, you can produce an optical section. This technique can help you to assess semi-transparent structures such as the cornea or lens. For this, you should use a tall, thin beam with high brightness intensity. Move the illumination arm to around 45 degrees and adjust appropriately. As you can see, it optically dissects the cornea and you can see a cross section. You can use increased magnifications to help you define specific structures such as the epithelium, stroma or endothelium.